Hello everybody, what's up? This is Rich. Uh, from time to time we get the question on PC Mech is what powers the site? If you go to PCMech.com and scroll all the way to the bottom, you'll notice that there is a link to WordPress. It says powered by WordPress right at the bottom here. If you wanted to try WordPress for yourself, if you like PCMech.com and says, yeah, I'd like to have something like this. Now you have to remember that our particular WordPress setup is very customized. It's uh, doesn't even resemble the default template in uh, the stock WordPress installation. However, if you want to see the power behind it, the administrative interface and stuff like that is a good place to start. If you want to do this, if you don't have your own domain name and if you uh, are not paying for hosting on a free way of doing it, the easiest way is to go to WordPress.com. WordPress.com, if you sign yourself up for a blog, you will have the address of your username dot wordpress dot com it's totally free totally easy to use and you may like it so much that you may not want a regular domain name after that but let's just say you like wordpress a lot but you want it on your domain as in you dot com or dot net dot org or whatever you have you would go to wordpress dot org this is where the actual installation file is to download <clears throat> excuse me and put to your web host and then connect that to a MySQL database and then get yourself off to the races. Now if you're totally confused by that, WordPress makes it really easy. All you have to do is go to WordPress.org uh, homepage and click find a web host. The first one they list is DreamHost. Now this is not free at this point. It's also not free to register a domain name obviously but you already knew that part. So. DreamHost is the first one they list. I know a lot of people that use DreamHost. I don't use them personally, but I know a lot of people that say a lot of nice things about these guys. They actually have it where you can automatically install WordPress just by logging into their interface and you don't have to worry about the MySQL database or anything like that. But let's just say for the moment you wanted to do everything manually. On the DreamHost uh, webpage, they have what's called a wiki for their uh, help support section and they have a whole section on MySQL which is the database engine and uh, they tell you how to create a MySQL database, how to connect to the database and what it will look like and uh, how to do it and it's actually very simple so whether you want to do things uh, completely automatic through WordPress.com or do things uh, I guess semi-automatically through DreamHost and using the automatic installer or by doing it completely manually by connecting to a SQL database independently you can uh, do it this way too. And I'm not saying you have to use DreamHost that happens to be one of the hosts that WordPress.org recommends. They also recommend Media Temple, Bluehost, AN Hosting, Host I Can, Laughing Squid, uh, I know a lot of people on Laughing Squid as well. And uh, basically any web host that has PHP and MySQL database connectivity will be able to run WordPress. The vast majority of web hosts have to offer this. If they don't, they wouldn't get really much business. So in a nutshell, that's how to do WordPress. And also remember that at PCMechUniversity.com, there's an entire course on WordPress. So if you want further information on how to get this stuff all working, be sure to head to uh, pcmicuniversity.com as well. Take it easy.